everyone, Garrett from Tatian Yoko here. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. We've got lots of great things lined up for you today. We're going to show off our fits. We're going to talk about some of the spring summer collection that's coming. We're going to talk about our favorite Christmas movies. We're going to show off some of our patches that you have uh, for the patch swap process. And don't forget, we will have Terry's pick as well. So make sure you stick around to the very end. If you're tuning in and uh, you like the channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy these videos, also make sure to hit that like button. Um, and I guess I'll get started with my fit first. All right, so starting from the top to the bottom, how I like to do it, I have my in-situ navy cap as I uh, do pretty much every day. I have on this old work shirt, Naked Famous Denim work shirt. I don't know how old it is, but uh, it's definitely not available anymore on the website. It's got a little bit of a brushed nep thing going on. So I really like this. It's my kind of around the office, stay comfy and warm flannel. And then I have on a Wanderlooper, or I like to call it Vandalupa. My Vandalupa thick uh, Heather Gray t-shirt. It's so thick, it, it's basically like a sweater. Uh, and then I have my Buffalo belt, my MIJ 13s, which are fading nicely. This is actually just, ignore this. This is some like climbing chalk. Uh, maybe it's not, maybe it is faded. Maybe it is faded, look at that. It's probably fading last night from when I was uh, climbing this V7, doing some knee bars. And uh, yeah, I got some, some fading on the knee area there. And then I have my Wesco, I believe it's pronounced Mr. Lou engineer boots. And I think they're called Mr. Lou because the office dog is called Mr. Lou. So they named these after him and they're black horse hide. And then finally, oh, I have this, I can show this off. My card case, Naked Famous Denim card case, which we all pretty much carry here. And then my Good Art Hollywood club ring to uh, complete the look. So there you have it. Tristan? You ready? Ready yes. for this? Um, I'm wearing long sleeves. Oh, oh, I forgot, I forgot. Oh, he forgot. <laughs> We're also gonna talk about our favorite Christmas movies. Yes. So I could be a bad guy and steal um, Vincent's, which is actually also my favorite Christmas movie, but These guys are weak I, I'm, I'm gonna let him keep his and I'll choose, actually, I'm gonna cheat, I'm gonna choose two. So my two favorite Christmas movies are Shrek the Halls and uh, Polar Express, you know? You, do you wanna have a sicko mode or Mobamba, you know? <laughs> sicko mode or Mobamba. All right, that's it, all right. Um, my favorite movie's uh, The Grinch. Uh, yeah, there you go. Um, Christmas movie, at least. Um, so yeah, I'm wearing a long sleeve, black long sleeve with uh, dirty fades, true guys. Um, oh yeah, I have a... Cool pen, which is a what? Get close up on that. <laughs> what is this? So this is like a, a pen for like notebooks. It's like a signet pen. That's the idea. So you kind of, you know, it's made to be uh, extra thin. So it's like built around this cartridge that's like snapped in in a weird way. Is it titanium? Yeah. Thanks. How and much did it cost? It's not important. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's the question. It, too much. It <laughs> too much. More than the yeah. jump rope. Uh, no. <laughs> so yeah, uh, there you go, this is a cool pen um, with beaten up New Balance. There you go. It's a comfortable what, fit what today. What fit are those jeans? Uh, true guys. Which ones? Uh, duty Fades. Nice. It's pretty new, yeah, because my left hand wheels have a blown up crotch. So. Oh, speaking of true guys, we have three new true guys coming this Friday. Um, we have the 11 ounce stretch, Black Cobra, and Indigo by Indigo. It's gonna be on the website this Friday, so if you wanna pick up a pair of True Guys, Tristan's measuring them today. Yes. So they'll be ready this Friday. There you go, next. Hello guys, it's me, Vincent. My favorite Christmas movie, as Tristan stole, is uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, but the one from 1966, the, the animated one. I'm about that action, not like Tristan. Tristan stole mine five minutes before he asked me, and I told him. But we can like the same movie. 
We're allowed to like the same one. No, not this guy. He's not allowed. <laughs> he can't. He can't. He can't have that. Okay, sure. <laughs> I'm a bona fide hater. I don't like to share. Um, I have this like thrifted sweater, circular knit T-shirt, seven millimeter brown belt, the good keychain, as we Bad all know. <laughs> uh, natural Indigo Selvic shoe guys, and the Ronnie McDonnies. Wait, those are shoe guys. Oh, sorry, those groovy are, guys. Sorry, groovy guys. Completely wrong. I was thinking of Tristan's pants. Uh, the natural indigo selvage groovy guy, as you can tell by the flare. Let's, let's see the back too. Uh, that's five bucks for that. From the front to the back. <laughs> there we go. Get it from the front and then the back. That's all. Who's next? Who's I'll next? go next. All right. Oh. It's been a while, guys. Hope you're doing good. Happy holidays. Um, I'll start from the top down. I'm wearing a toque from uh, my local skate shop in Ottawa, Burling. Um, heavyweight crew in black. Um, on my watch, on my wrist, I have my Bulova Oceanographer it's from the 60s. Hey, let's get a yeah, that. Let's get with that old dead yeah, trit loom. Yeah. Show the the domed crystal. Yeah, the exactly. Yeah, true. that's there we go. nice. Yeah, this one actually. It was my uh, grandfather's. I recently, I recently got it. At my watch, we all know. So wait, is it quartz or mechanical? It's mechanical. Yeah, it's mechanical. Oh, that's um, cool. I wind it up every morning I wear. Actually, no, sorry, it's not. It's automatic, actually. Same thing, but different. Same, same, but different. Um, my groovy guys, my groovy guys, strong guys. My lovely, fantastic, cherished, prized possession, key hook. And my um, my Timberland mock toes. I've had these for a long time now. They're super beat up. They've seen many winters. They've seen a lot of salt. Uh, they've seen a lot of waiting for the bus. Um, <laughs> I love them. They're sick. That's all for me today. Hope you guys have a good rest cool. of your day. All right, Vinny, it's your oh, turn. Shit. My turn. What's good to y'all? It's your boy, Vinny, with the chin top dome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right, today we got the blanket line left hand 12 denim jacket. See the inside. The only thing that's keeping me warm these days, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm thinking of strapping some, you know, DVDs, bootleg DVDs here. Maybe watches. Some watches, bootlegs. Uh, we got the black circular knit tee right here uh, with my buffalo belt. And we're rocking the 11 ounce Easy Guy stretch with the black Timberlands. Your <laughs> Maxim, <laughs> today I I got the lumberjack uh, classic uh, look. So I got my hiking shoes. That's really comfortable, not the best looking. But after that, I got my the same jeans I I showed last week, I think, or the previous week. My elephant Supima cotton eight. Let's get some close ups on these fades. So Are getting, they soft? Yeah, they're pretty soft. So and um, they're getting softer every time I, I wash them three times I think so far and they're just getting nicer and nicer. I also got the easy shirt uh, natural indigo dyed. Uh, that's a special version because the inside is like darker, so it's just a, a mistake. But anyway, <laughs> in terms of limited gray, edition, I also got uh, my gray T-shirt from Naked and Famous, and um, yeah, that's pretty much it. My belt also. Still same army belt. And uh, for favorite Christmas movie, I would go for uh, Die Hard. Bruce Willis uh, humor is is my favorite, so. Yeah, what movie. was your favorite Christmas movie? Yo, one? Home Alone, cause. Alone. Which one? The first one, you gotta go with the classic. It was, it's borderline just like, he was just torturing them. Shenanigans. Just straight shenanigans. I've always wanted to do that as a kid, just like, set up traps like the good country the good old days <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> but yeah no in all seriousness though home alone the first one best movie oh also polar express but yeah i also Just forgot mine actually terry oh, no. we'll get you right at the end there justin <laughs> oh yeah what was yours justin yeah, um same as trist actually i'm kind of cheating as well like Garrett, i have to, like, i have to pick two i'm sorry um one, the first one is, it's the Jim Carrey one, Jim right? Carrey. Yeah, the yeah. Jim Carrey, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, fantastic. Also, like, I have to say Elf. 
Like I have to. Oh I'll yeah. Say, I have to say Elf. Elf is fantastic. The spaghetti scene is great. The spaghetti scene yes. is that burp. That burp is insane. Respect. That burp after that Coca Cola chug, nuts. Elf, gotta be Elf. Elf and the Grinch. Terry. Terry. <laughs> Hello everyone. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah, bad timing there. So welcome back to another week here at Tate and Yoko. Uh, I'm gonna start off with a quick little fit check from a bottom to top. Uh, I got my Jim Green African Rangers Salt Stain Edition here, protecting my feet from the elements. Um, star of the show today, again, is my King of Slubs in the Easy Guy over here. They have now be become beautifully soft, like a large, heavy beach blanket that I just wrap around my waist every morning. Beach blanket? Yeah, beach blanket. The beach blankets came slubby and- These indigo. look more like a Mexican blanket in terms of texture. Oh yeah? Mexican blanket? Well, yeah, there's a you type of that. blanket that every time you touch, you get blue hands. So, going over there, they are held up onto my waist by the mighty seven millimeter, seven millimeter veg tan belt, which is really lovely and patinaed after two years. I've got layers here. Layers is the theme. This is my actual, my outdoor, my outdoor setup. So I'm going triple layers here. I got the Velveteen t-shirt over here, our hoodie in orange, zip, and the MIJ10 jacket, which I love the pieces. This is a fantastic jacket. Lovely MIJ10 jacket. You're getting a little fading on the, the arm It's combs starting. There. It takes time. This one, of course, is tempy treated, bit. so it's not super crispy but it does mean it's so super hairy. You got some hairy. arm combs going. Yeah, it's very hairy over there. All right, same as everything else is the same. My favorite little G-Shock over here, my pinball hat there. Uh, what else do I have to show off? Not too much in the drip department aside from maybe my black Costco membership thing there. That's my only flex I can pull out there today. And I'm gonna finish off with my personal choice for the holiday film for this year. Uh, I feel like the best one for me personally is a film called Rare Exports 2010. Uh, it's a Finnish film. It's a fantastic Christmas themed holiday special Finnish film. It is very Finnish. So I think you really get an idea for how that Nordic country works over there. I think it's fantastic. You can learn how everyone in the film has to deal with things. So that's that. And thank you very much. And this is a holiday edition here at Tatin Yoko. So I wish you a very happy holiday. Terry. Since you're a Costco man, what's your favorite thing at Costco and from the food, the cooked food section? <clears throat> if I'm going for the cooked food here, it has to be the pasin. Um, That's what I get every time I'm going for a quick bite at Costco. I mean, you can't go wrong with the hot dog and drink, but if it's like for the entree, if you will, it's gotta be the pasin. No question. All right. Although I miss the wings. Bring back the wings. Costco, bring back the wings. I need your help to hold the camera. Yeah, I'm saying bring back the full bucket. Give me a guy mustard. Kill got an active day. shooter in the building. Costco, please bring back your wings. I miss you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there you have it. Those are the fits and our favorite Christmas movies. Make sure you leave a comment down below and tell us your favorite Christmas movie. What have you been watching? What are you going to be watching for this holiday season? Okay, next I got a little stack of jeans right here. And if you're an eagle-eyed viewer, you may already recognize some of these. So as we're at the end of the fall winter 23 season, spring summer 24 is just upon us. And I thought I'd share a couple of my favorite picks. Um, some of the things that are gonna be coming out soon and some, some stuff that you might wanna get excited for in the new year. All right, so first up here, this one almost needs no introduction. If you're a fan of the brand, you'll be well aware of our uh, Chinese new year jeans that we do every year. Next year is uh, very special. It's one of the biggest years, the year of the dragon. Terry knows what's up. Mm, it is a big year. It's such a big year that sometimes they say there'll be expecting families. We're gonna hold on to that baby just for a little bit longer so they can pop it out right in the year of the dragon. Yes, it's true. It's I think it's hilarious actually though because during the year of the dragon, there's like a big surge in children being born but I can see how that would be a big problem for infrastructure like schools and stuff. So all of a sudden, like the amount of kids that are is like double or triple in one year, now they don't have enough class sizes or teachers. But anyways, yeah. good luck getting into university when you're competing with everybody else. In yeah. That lucky year. Yeah. Yeah. So it does cause a few problems. Anyways, that's just a little inside baseball about uh, the year of the dragon. But if you don't have a pair of the Chinese New Year, the year of the dragon is definitely a cool year to to get in on this collection and start collecting the chinese new year jeans but look at that patch so cool 
All right, so that's the year of the dragon, Chinese New Year, Gene. Next up, we have the Craftsman. And you guys will probably know that I'm a huge fan of heavyweight denim, but you may not know that I also do, I do quite enjoy uh, some lighter weight jeans as well. They're really comfy, they have a cool look, and I love the vintage vibe. And this one definitely does uh, tick all those boxes. So we got the white contrast stitch on here. It's a two by one left hand twill. So not something you're gonna see every day uh, and definitely something you're not gonna come across very often. But yeah, just a really nice lightweight fabric. I'm quite excited for this one. And I think if you don't have one of these kind of like vintage repro style jeans, uh, it's a cool, cool thing to pick up. So that's coming this year as well, or sorry, next year. All right, next we have, ooh, this one I think is gonna be quite popular as well, the Ocean's Edge. So this is a 13 ounce low tension. It's light blue. It has a quite a nice little hairy um, thing on. I'm not sure if this is once wash or what, but it's very soft to begin with. So I'd say no break in time, even though it is 100% cotton. I have a feeling these are gonna be very popular. We always get people coming into the store asking if you have any lighter colored jeans. Of course, we have a lot of dark indigo, which will fade over time, but we do have these which will start as a light blue. So it's a more of a vintage vibe to begin with and a nice thick leather patch on there as well. I'm really excited about these. I think these are gonna be very popular. Terry, what do you think? I think they're an absolute winner there. You also said low tension. Does that mm -hmm. mean they're gonna shrink if you wash them? Um, I mean, Everything will shrink maybe a little bit, but these aren't gonna, I wouldn't say these are gonna shrink any more than anything else, but the low tension is just the way that it's woven. It has a distinctive feel to it. All right. So if you were to say like the left hand tool would be a very crispy denim without a high tension weave, would this be the opposite, a low tension weave? I guess so. I guess so, yeah. I don't know if it's high tension, I'd say it's standard tension. Standard tension, all right. But it's a, it's a comfortable from day it's one. It's not as like, well, the way I think of it is like, yeah. you'd have something like the tech denim, which was like, Oh my God. <laughs> I bet that's I about remember. as high tension as it can be because it's very densely woven. Yeah. The one that's been washed before getting soon. I think I watched a video yesterday and they said, said that about this one. Yeah, it's probably washed. I don't know exactly. I didn't talk with him. Yeah, it might be fabric washed, but it feels very soft. It's going to be one of those comfortable from day one collections yeah. there. So don't worry about breaking this one in. It's good to go straight to the club out of the store. I, if I had to guess, and I mean, I don't wanna give any fake news here, but I'm pretty sure it is fabric wash just because it is very soft. Um, it doesn't look to be sand fries, or at least they didn't singe it because I can still see all the hairs and you can't see any puckering along the seams that you typically get with a once wash. So I could be wrong, but I, I think it's fabric wash. I don't know. If I'm wrong, leave a comment down below and uh, tell me how I'm wrong. <laughs> All right, next up, this one is, I don't know if it's my favorite, but it's definitely the one, the favorite name of all these ones, the undyed Frankenstein. Ah, 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 yeah, because it's not dyed. But anyways, I, we, we love a good pun here. I know Terry loves a good pun. And uh, I just thought it was so funny. And we get a lot of requests for these kind of accru natural colored jeans. This one is reminiscent of the natural seed which we've kind of been doing for a long time, but this is our special twist. Just realize the patch is upside down. Yes, so for those of you who aren't familiar, the patch is upside down on all of the Frankenstein denim. So it is not a mistake. It is supposed to be like that. All of the Frankenstein jeans have the upside down patch and they all have this very unique fabric. This one has the alternating twill fabric. So it goes right hand twill, left hand twill, right hand twill, left hand twill. So it is, a extremely unique, extremely special fabric. And now it's gonna be available in this undyed accru or un, yeah, undyed uh, fabric. And I, I think this is gonna be very popular, especially for those of you, if you don't have a pair of white or accru cream jeans uh, in your collection, that is something perfect for spring, summer. All right, so those are my four picks. Of course, we're gonna have more coming out, but I just wanted to show off these right now. Next, we have Terry. He's going to talk about the patch swap process and show off some of the patches we have available here at Tatanyoko. All right. So, uh, 
Those of you who are familiar with the brand may already know this, but we do offer a patch swap service here at Tate and Yoko. That means that when you order your jeans online, if you also buy one of the patches from our selection, you can then swap it onto your jeans. All right, no problem at all. So you can swap your patch any way you like. If you, as long as you buy it, you can swap it like top and bottom, or you can swap it uh, on all four corners. So we yeah. recommend all four corners for like a heavier patch, any of the buffaloes, yeah. like the when bed Yeah, you say tans. swap it, you mean sew it. Have it sewn, sewn on. on. Yeah, sewn on. Right. Sew it on. Yeah, so we can have either the pass through like this, so you can put your belt through, or sewn on. Do we have an example here? The Chinese New Year is sewn on all the way around. This is, of course, going to be the, the strongest. Um, so in general, I'd say if you're if you don't know, go for sewn all the way around, uh, unless you're someone who really wants to put your belt through the patch. Absolutely. So all you have to do is buy the patch at the same time as you buy the jeans, and let us know what you want in the comments. It's a big help if you just say sew all around or just top and bottom. Let us know, and then we will do that for you. And we have a huge selection on the website of all kinds of patches. We got classic patches from the past. We've got. Um, uh, so basically, we got we got <coughs> excuse me, we got this cool one over here, this brute one, which I'm going to talk about more later. So we call this guy the brute. It's kind of a bit more of a masculine twist on our famous logo, and we also have patches that have no logo at all. So if you're just looking for a very like understated, subtle patch, it, has the text logo. it does say that it does a text logo, but it's a little bit more stealthy. The apple patch, apple patch for all the vegans out there. So this is no meat at all. This is just, um, it's called apple leather, I believe. Yeah. Yes, apple leather, cobalt lamb. Cobalt lamb here. This is a nice one. Ooh, this one was blue. super popular. It matches my indigo fingers here, which are a little bit blue already from touching my jeans. The eel skin. We got the eel skin over there. I know this is a favorite amongst some people there. This is a really, what I would call it, a gnarly patch. We have the, uh, I don't know what this one's called, like the iridescent. I think it's like the, the silver hollow. Like the silver, silver hollow. Yeah, it's silver hollow. hollow. And then we have the copper one. Copper. Same idea. Um, if someone could grab a D logo, like a text only patch, that'd be yeah, really cool. The... Just want to show that because sometimes you don't want to see the tragic blonde or the magnificent brute on the back of your butt there. You can either just maybe want to ask us to chop it off. We'll do that too for free. But also, we have a pretty cool uh, D logo patch. The ox, oh, the ox, ox one. one. I love this one. This one's so good. I just have to show this one quickly. Also, here's our patches here. Our like our minimal or more, our more minimalist patches. This is in our um, veg tan leather, natural veg tan leather. Pretty no thick. tragic blonde. Very thick. This would be very good if you would sew it all the way, all the way around. This, this one would, too. Yeah, this. I one think it's the same well. thickness. Same thickness. Um, just not with our tragic blonde logo. Just with our um, text logo, naked and famous. Mm -hmm. So it's like the elephant patch, basically. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So if you were to ask me what's my favorite patch uh, of all time there, I have to go for the veg tan. I am mean, basically anything in veg tan, I'm a huge fan of the way veg tan will age and patina over time. Uh, I have a particularly rare patch that I, <coughs> excuse me, I quite enjoy. It's an old MIJ series and we used to have on some of the old patches there some thick uh, veg tan MIJ patches. Who knows, maybe if we make a super heavyweight MIG in the future, that may come back. That would be really cool. I'd love to see that one. All right, so moving on, also I have my pick of the day. So that brings you right here to the pick of the day. Stay right there, baby, because I have a special pick. We have over here a wonderful customer, Samuel from Connecticut. All right, he got the word of the day last week. I'm gonna say it real quick here about spaghettification. Thank you, spaghettification was the word of the week. He says it's a process by which his Nona dilates his stomach, the combination of spaghetti love and secret sauce. So that's not what I was looking for, but I love it nonetheless. So you're gonna win. If you didn't know, spaghettification is kind of like a gravitational effect. Tidal forces pulling things out, also called the noodle effect. So I hope you guys had fun looking that up. But Samuel, you're doing a patch swap over here. So fantastic. He wants a patch swap. He's gonna get these true guys, the sack over here, and he's gonna go put the brute on them over here. So we will swap that in our factory for you and send these jeans off to you right away. And because we chose you as the winner, you're going to get one of the super rare and special naked and famous denim tote bags over here. Use this to carry around all the cool things you have because you are definitely a cool guy, Samuel. So enjoy your jeans, enjoy your patch and enjoy your bag and have a fantastic holiday.
a wrench. You can fade that at the grocery store. Yes, that's right. Get them grocery store fades, the banana fades, any kinds of products you need over there. Brisket, bananas, pomegranates. <laughs> pomegranates. Okay, all right. So we're going to close it out here with my word of the week for this holiday season. A big thank you to everyone who always drops a comment in our order section. We read them all. We really like it. We love interacting with fans. It makes a big deal to us. So thank you very much for doing that. So as always, the instructions are drop a comment in the order section. When you order something from us at Tap and Yoko, uh, and then we will give you a little something, a little note, a little surprise, maybe a little extra. You might win the lucky prize. So for this week in honor of the holidays, the special word of the week is Krampus. That's right, Krampus is the word of the week. Tell me all your Krampus stories in the comments and then a lucky winner will be chosen at random, at random. And then that will be how it goes and you get a chance to win a bag or maybe something new. There may be something new coming in the future, so you never know. And with that, I wanna remind everybody to like and subscribe. You know how it works here on YouTube, likes and subscribe. Keep the machine wheels turning over here at YouTube. So please give us a like and subscribe. Watch the live stream every Friday at 7%, 7 p.m. Eastern with Bayzad and Risa. And have a lovely holiday season. All the best from us to you. Relax, enjoy, sit next to fire, get fat, wear your jeans, and take care of each other. That's all for me. Bye-bye. Happy holidays, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs> <laughs>